Hi everyone, I'm Meredith SK, and today I'm going to give you a quick tutorial on how to use Clip Studio Paint's brand new colorize feature. Here I've got a line work drawing of Quoth from the Kingkiller Chronicles, some of my favorite books from Patrick Rothfuss. I have also a colored layer where I've roughed in the basics of what I want the different areas to be colored like. You can see I've got some broad areas like his cloak here with highlights on it. And then I've got some much smaller areas like his eyes. Uh, I want to show you how the colorized feature treats these different areas. Okay, so I actually have all my line work on different vector layers because I was drawing these and I wanted to be able to use some of the vector tools. But I want them all to be on one layer. So I'm going to turn off my background and I'm going to turn off my colors. And now I have left just visible the line work layers. I'm going to go to layer, merge visible to new layer. And now I have a single layer with all the line work on it. You notice it's a roster layer. You can tell by the way it's lacking this little cube symbol that denotes a vector layer. So I'm going to be just using this to be my reference layer. I'm going to do the same thing to my color layers, have those be the only thing visible, and merge visible to new layer. So now I've got two layers, one with my colors and one with my line work. I'm going to turn off the folder that has the individual colors. And I'm just doing all this so you can see, you can do the colorize without having it be on your principal editing layers where you want to be able to keep editing the line work or keep editing your colors. And I'll turn on this background just so you can see a little bit more about what's going on with these colors. So the first thing I want to do is to go over here to the layer with my line work again. And I want to set that to be my reference layer or hint layer. And the way I do that is I go up to this little lighthouse symbol. You can see it pops up as reference layer. And this can be a little bit confusing because when you go to the edit colorize, you'll see use hint layer as one of the options. The reference layer and the hint layer in this tool are the same. So I'm going to go ahead and click this. And you can see I have two symbols here right now, the paintbrush, which denotes that it's my current editing layer, and the lighthouse. But even if I click my colorize layer, which now is set as my working layer, that light hole still says on my line work layer, saying that it's my reference or hint layer. So now what I'm going to do is just go ahead and turn off my background. This isn't necessary, but I want to show you what it looks like when you do the colorize. I have my color layer selected. I'm going to go up to edit, colorize, and use hint image and colorize. Now the way this works is it sends your image to Clip Studio servers and the process is done there. So depending on how busy their servers are, it can take anywhere from a couple seconds to as much as 30 seconds. So go ahead and click that. And there you have it. This is what Colorize has done with my image. Two things to notice. The first is that those smaller areas, like both green eyes, were not referenced at all. And I've tried a few different things, like having the colors on different layers, and the colorize does not ever seem to pick up on these small areas, even if the green of those eyes are the only thing visible. Supposedly, this algorithm is going to keep learning the more people use it, so maybe that'll change, but for right now, don't expect your small areas to be showing up in your colorization. The second thing to notice is that even though I have this white background turned off, I'm still winding up with a white background on my colorize layer. If I were to turn this off, you'd see my line work still just has the transparency grid behind it. Turn it on and it's all filled in with white. So unless you have a background going on, it's not going to give you a clear background. So unless you have a 
So unless you have a background drawn in, it's just going to come up as white. Another thing you can notice is that the color as layer bleeds out into areas. You can see that by how it goes out into this background. And you can see that in how the green here goes into his fingers, even though the fingers is a closed shape. So there you have it. I think the colorize tool is really neat. Uh, it's going to be really interesting as it develops. I quite like it as a... Lastly, we can notice that the colorize layer is set to multiply. That's so you can see your line work. If we set this to normal, you can see the opaque colors, which I think I'll be using a lot as a paint reference because I really like how the colorize tool has blended my highlights and my shadows, not just with blending, but by adding some complementary colors in between. So there you have it, uh, the colorize tool in brief. Keep playing with it, and I'll be back with more Clip Studio tutorials soon. Happy painting!